Hello everyone, this is Sammy Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature of the avatar in Microsoft Teams. So, I'm now in the Teams, and I will go to the three dots, and I will choose the avatar. Um, and up in the tier now, uh, it was possible just to choose from a fixed uh, possibility. You would choose some some person and then you would actually uh, continue and choose other things. Um, now we have a no now another possibility to upload an image or to scan a photo and it will create an avatar. So I will take one of these avatars, I'll delete them and uh, let's start from the beginning. So I will click here on the plus I can create a duplicate, I can create a new avatar, as you can see here, where I can select the avatar to start, and now I can auto-generate uh, from a photo. So I can create using the camera, and I can use the image upload. So let's use the camera. So uh, the camera will open up, and now you see me, I can position myself, and I can click on this button, 3, 2, 1. Now it's taken an image of me. I can retake, or I can use the camera. Now I will choose the skin color, click next. Now we will wait until the avatar will create it. It might take uh, 10 seconds or more, so bear with me. Uh, the other possibility will be actually to upload a photo. So I'll take a photo, and the idea is that um, this should help uh, the avatar to look more like uh, you are in reality and not just uh, a guess. But uh, it will never be exactly, but uh, you know, it's trying to show more or less. Uh, how it is. So we'll be in a second ready. Here we are. So choose a recommended avatar. It gives three. So I will choose this one, which is looks the most like me. Now I can choose body. Not sure this looks like me. I'll click next. I will choose an af outfit. I'm not sure why it shows only winter. But maybe in the summer, I chose only summer clothes. So I can click on save and finish. And now the avatar is ready. So let's create another one um, based on the photo. This time I will take an image of uh, Gal Gadot. Uh, here are the requirements. Uh, it needs to be a JPEG or PM, uh, PMP or PNG resolution. And uh, uh, you can see other things. So I'll choose this image of Kalkadot. And I will say, let's use it. And it should, let's choose her skin color. And now we will wait again a couple of seconds until the image is there. Then we can change her hairstyle, her body, her clothes, and other things. So this is giving uh, extra uh, functionality. Currently, it's uh, in preview. So most of you might not see it, but it will roll out in the next months. So let's we're still waiting. So uh, for the meantime, if you like my channel, subscribe. I give lots of tips and tricks about SharePoint, Teams, and all of the Office uh, applications. Um, I really appreciate all of your support. And uh, okay, we're done. Now we can choose the one which is the closest. And now we can choose body. And let's choose something which is, it looks like for a woman. And we can save and customize. And we can do other things. As you know, we can change the hairstyle, the 
makeup, the body. Uh, let's make her like this, and we could move bust. And uh, let's finish. So um, this is what I wanted to share with you. Thank you very much, and see you in the next episode. By the way, we can integrate it in the Teams meeting and even in Microsoft Mesh. So goodbye and have a good day.